Hello and welcome to this tutorial on mastering spreadsheet, quick tips and tricks. In this video, we'll be sharing some useful tips to help you work more efficiently with your spreadsheet data. Let's get started. Tip number one, formatting phone numbers in spreadsheets. Have you ever imported data from another source and found that your phone numbers are formatted inconsistently? Don't worry, you can quickly fix this by using the format cells feature. Select all the phone number cells and right-click then select Format Cells. Then select the special category and select the phone number from the type, Options. Once you are selected the phone number type then click Custom Category. Then modify the type format and type plus and hashtag in the same field as shown this video. Now you can see that the all phone numbers are formatted properly with the international phone code. Tip number 2. Adding image files as notes in spreadsheets. Did you know that you can insert image files as notes in your spreadsheet? This can be useful for providing additional information or context to your data. To do this, simply right-click on a cell, select Insert Note. Then move the cursor above the notes border and right-click then select Format Comment. From the Format Comment box, select Colors and Line option, and click on Color then Fill Effects. After that click on Picture tab and select Picture. From there, you can browse and select an image file to insert as your note. Tip number 3. Splitting full names into first and last names and vice versa. If you have a column of full names in your spreadsheet and you want to split them into first and last names you can use this easy method. First copy the first part of the and full name and paste it to the first name column. Then copy paste the second part of the name to the last name. Then select the first name that you pasted and hold the control button and press E. Then repeat this method for the last name as well and your names will now be split into separate columns. Tip number 4. Generating email addresses from registration numbers. If you need to create email addresses for a list of students based on their registration numbers, you can use a simple formula. Let's say that your registration numbers are in column A and you want to create email addresses in column E. In cell E2, enter this formula to create email addresses. You can then drag this formula down to apply it to the rest of the students. Tip number 5. Creating a manual attendance checklist using Google Sheets. If you need to keep track of student attendance, you can use a manual checklist in Google Sheets. Simply create a column for each class day and use checkboxes to mark attendance. To count the total number of students present, you can use the count of function. For example, if your checkboxes are in cells C3, G3, you can use this formula to count the total number of checkboxes that are checked. That's it for our quick tutorial on spreadsheet tips and tricks. We hope you found these tips helpful and that they'll save you some time and effort in your spreadsheet work. Thanks for watching and happy learning!